What's up PC gamers? Today we're going to be upgrading a PC by replacing its regular cooler fan with an MSI MAG AIL. My name is Maros Grouch, also known as Mr. Grouch on various other platforms. If you don't know me by now, you can follow me on Twitch if you like. I stream almost pretty much every day. This video is more of a reference for people who are looking to switch out their cooler for an AIO and they want to get this specific one. This video is for people who are looking for a quick and easy reference uh, visual for installing this AIO. This could apply to certain other AIOs and it could apply to other people's PC orientation. Remember, every PC is different, every case is different, every motherboard is different, every AIO is different. Today I'm using the MAG Core Liquid 240R which is an MSI AIO cooler. I'm gonna be attaching it to my MSI B550 Gaming Plus motherboard. And we're going to be putting it into the case that I installed in my last video, which is the 4000D Airflow, which is a case by Corsair. We're gonna be replacing the stock cooler from AMD's Ryzen 5 3600. It's, uh, I, I'm assuming the Stealth cooler or the Spire cooler, or I, I think it's the Wraith cooler. I, I have no idea what the name of the cooler is, but we're going to be replacing it with an AIO, an all-in-one cooler. This is gonna help you do that if you ever need like a reference guide or something to look off of. You can definitely do that. So. Let's get into it. All right, before we get started, let's open up this bad boy right here. This is the MSI MAG Core Liquid 240R. It's a liquid cooling AIO. And yes, it has Mystic Light RGB on it. And the logo is actually twistable. So you, you can spin the logo around. We get this quick installation guide. The RGB fans, got the MSI logo on there. Pretty cool. Uh, 240 millimeter fans, two of them. All the mounting stuff. Mounting for Threadripper, for AM4, for Intel. And it also comes with this. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be important. This right here is to daisy chain it into a Molex cable. A one-time use application of thermal paste. We get all our mounting brackets, our screws, pretty much everything you need in here. This is the radiator. We got the radiator. The pump is actually in the radiator. Not like most uh, IOs. Let's get to it. Alright, now that we have all our peripherals unplugged and we have our switch off and we unplug the PSU. Uh, one thing I always like to do before starting anything is I like to press the power button a few times and hold it. Make sure that there's no electricity in any of our components. It's not necessary, but it is good to be cautious. I use an anti-static wristband. The alternative to doing this is just by grounding yourself, by touching the metal components that are uh, electrically discharged just grounding yourself by holding on to those but i will be using the like anti-static wristband we're just gonna start removing the front panel first it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie but let's take off the back panel now that we got the front panel off let's just take off the dust filter and as you can see i have one case fan already pre-installed when i got the case it's a, a pretty good corsair fan let's start by disassembling this system fan that's right there I kind of want to keep one, but I'll see you right now. Is it better to have a long fan? Uh, it depends on your your pressure, because like there's uh, pressure when it comes to fans. Like uh, for instance, if I have a like all my fans pulling in air, that's a negative pressure. Uh -huh. So then it's just it's gonna heat up faster and it's gonna get dusty faster. So that's why it's always good to have an exhaust. Are you gonna buy another case fan? <laughs> I, I don't think so. I kind of wanted to make this build yellow because I mean yellow is pretty cool. For the love of God. Yeah, whatever. And uh, try not to spin fans by themselves because it actually generates electricity when you do that. All right, now we got our fan taken out. All right, so now that we have one of the system fans removed. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our 
CPU generic AMD cooler stock coil it comes with. So first we're gonna unplug it from its socket that connected to the motherboard itself. Now we're just gonna unthread it each side. So now we got it removed. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up this uh, thermal paste that's on it right now so that I can put it away neatly. So uh, let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, to clean this, I'm gonna be using some tech wipes. They're drenched in 100% alcohol. And now we can go in and clean our CPU. In some cases, you do have to take out your CPU to thoroughly clean it. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Okay, now we're going to reattach the brackets to be able to sustain our AIO. Okay, so now I'm reattaching the brackets so that we can have AIO secured onto it. Now let's get the next bracket. Boom, now we have our brackets attached. Okay, first we're gonna install the radiator here to the front. It doesn't cover the entire front of the case, so I'll be putting a, a case fan under it. Yeah, let's go ahead and install the radiator to the front before anything. Um, first things first, we're gonna pass this cable through to the back. We're gonna feed it to the back so that we could have more leverage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run the fans through the front of the case and attach the radiator to the inside of the back of the front. Alright, let's install the other two screws. We're gonna screw in the other fan here at the top. Now we're going to install the respectable mounting gear. So this is the the AM4 uh, socket. It just uh, it attaches like this. So this is your core cooler. Yeah, you know, you're gonna want to attach your AM4 bracket with open end facing the hoses, and you're gonna want the hinges facing upward like this. So you're gonna just slide it in here, right? If you look at the side, you can see where I'm sliding it into. You can just slide it in there. Boom, you have it slid in. You gotta make sure the hinges are upwards and that the open end is facing the hose. Okay, now we're gonna go into the mounting stuff. What we're gonna take from the mounting stuff is gonna be two thumb nuts. These two thingies. Those are what's used to secure it in place. So this is the way that it's gonna work. That so we're going to install this like this. You're gonna push it in. We're just gonna thread the thumb nuts in there slightly, just so it can hold right here on the hinge. We're gonna do it facing this way. And then we're gonna thread it with the thumb screw. So it should be like this, where it's like kind of loose and being held in place like that. All right, so to attach this first things first, obviously, we're going to have to remove the, the plastic from the cooler here. Gonna take this off right here, boom. Now we're going to apply our, our thermal paste. It was actually thermal paste tube included with this and I'll, I'll be using this. The way that I would do it is to apply uh, like a, a small amount. I would say like about a pea size, maybe like a, a little corn, little corn size <laughs> on the Z. Just gonna go up to the Z here. So that should be enough there. If you do have your own thermal paste, maybe use that one. But I mean, we already did this. So yeah, some of that thermal paste was dried up on the end of that too. And now we're just gonna go ahead and stick this in. Put our tubes 
in the direction that we would want it. In my case, I'm gonna try to stick them more towards the side panel as possible. But we're gonna just attach the top bracket first. And then we can attach the bottom bracket. I might just use my own thermal paste because this thermal paste has been a lot of trouble for me. I was recommended to just use the included thermal paste, but I'm just gonna use my own thermal paste uh, Corsair TM30. Nothing too crazy, just regular thermal paste. Just go ahead and just apply some right here. Now that we have the thermal paste, I'm just gonna go ahead and thread this in again. So depending on your orientation, it, it might um, it might uh, differ where which way your hose is. Like if you put your radiator upside down or not. But me, I decided to position it like this. Now that we have the thumb screws put in, we're gonna get our Phillips head and just start threading it in evenly on both sides. Okay, so for the fan for the header, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to the, the header on the actual uh, motherboard that says J Rainbow. Uh, it might be different for other boards, but for this MSI board, it says J Rainbow. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the pump connector that we passed through to the back earlier. Okay, so now we're gonna plug in our our fans, uh, they go into the CPU fan socket and this is the splitter cable that we get. It's a double splitter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it in to the front from the back and I'm gonna connect the header directly into the motherboard. And these two are gonna connect to our two fans. And now we're gonna connect the power cables to the back. So as you see, we got a splitter cable hanging out of the back that we just connected right now. And we're gonna get our fan power cables. All right, and now we're gonna just connect these directly to our fan splitter. All right, now that we have these connected, they'll be powered. All right, so next up, we're gonna connect the other two uh, RGB parts, which is what connects to the J Rainbow sockets from earlier. And uh, we're just gonna pass these to the front, um, corresponding to which which side they go to. So this one's gonna go uh, somewhere around on the on the on the side here on this end. And this one's gonna be fed through the bottom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna feed this one over to this side over here. Okay, so it looks like we only have one more J Rainbow socket. So I'm just gonna bring this back over here. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom fan. Pulled off the cap for the male header, and we're just gonna put the female header into the male header. Just like that, daisy change. Okay, now that we have the radiator installed, I'm gonna go ahead and just start filling out these gaps here with other fans. <laughs> First, let's clean off those fans and uh, we'll start uh, filling up those gaps. Okay, now that we have all of our system fans connected, we have our AIO in. So we have an extra fan down there. We have our exhaust fan and we have two fans up here. You always wanna make sure that it doesn't interfere with your AIO. Hook this up and see it in action okay so i discovered the issue with the fans and uh it was just the wire it was it was in the way for both of them <laughs> they were both uh just making sounds because they were uh hitting the wire a lot but if you look at my temps now uh it's starting to go down which is pretty cool it's dropping as low as 35 degrees but it is huge because I was idling like at 60 before I installed this, this radiator. But I'm noticing that we're not getting any lights on there except for randomly. And it's funny because it kind of already knows which light to choose because I think it might be because of Messiah's program. Okay, so now that we have Dragon Sensor installed, I noticed that this, I noticed that the colors just started changing on their own here. We got Mystic White. The CPU temps. <laughs> That's really cool. And we're in green. <laughs> That's super cool. Looks cool. So there's this feature on here that lets you use a voice command. Mystic light red. Whoa. That was, wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Hey, Lucky. Mystic light yellow. Oh, it goes with the build. <laughs> I like this. This is really cool. This is what gives the PC 
the most power. It's this little buddy right here. All right, so we're gonna put him just right here, right where he belongs. Let's go ahead and just do the most beautiful thing. Oh. That is so nice. Hey Lucky, Mystic Light Steady. Hey Lucky, Mystic Light. <laughs> I, I was about to say green by accident <laughs> and it turned green, <laughs> what the hell? That's a little scary. That is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stayed to the end, you're awesome. Feel free to subscribe or like the video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to follow my socials if you like. We can share memes on all the social media nonsense. I have a Discord. I'll drop the link in the description down below. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, feel free to comment them in the comments down below. Uh, it's very greatly appreciated. Again, I love you guys. You're so awesome. Have an amazing night, evening, afternoon, day, morning. I don't care as long as it's a good time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.